Hello. So this is your music lesson. If you have music on Wednesday and we're not in class for the live lesson. Okay. So this is your asynchronous lesson and you do need to complete the exit ticket at the end. If you were at live music class this week, you can just use this video as a practice video. Okay, here we go. So we're going to warm up. We're going to learn a new note. We're going to work a bit on our note reading, and then uh, we're going to learn a new song. Okay, here we go. First, we're going to warm up. B, I play, you play back. Listen for the rhythm. Okay, A, add your middle finger over that second hole. Now we're going to add our fourth finger over the third hole, and the note we have is G. And now we're going to learn a new note. The new note we're learning today is the note C. Okay, to play a C, you finger an A, and then you lift up your index finger or pointer finger. Okay, so you have your thumb covered in the back. You have your middle finger covering the second hole and the first hole is open. Okay, so it sounds like this. I'll play it and then you play it back. We're gonna work on a switch. The switch we're gonna do is A to C. Okay, A, C, A, C, A, C. Okay, so notice that my middle finger never has to get picked up. Okay, the only finger I'm moving is my pointer. It sounds like this. Listen and play it back, please. Your turn. My turn. Okay, so now we're going to practice another switch, and this is B to C, okay? This is the first switch we're doing that requires lifting up a finger and putting down a finger at the same time, okay? It looks like this. Okay, watch what I'm doing. Okay, your thumb always stays down. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to play B. C, B, C. Listen and play it back. Your turn. My turn. Your turn. Okay, so we're gonna put our recorders down for a few minutes. Now, later in class, we're going to learn a song that involves that switch between B and C, okay? Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work a little bit on our note reading. So uh, as of now, we have learned to play four different, okay? We have learned to play B, A, G, and of course, we just learned C, okay? There we go. Okay, so as we know, when we read music, we are reading off of the staff. The five lines are called the staff. There's one, two, three, four, five lines. And there are also one, two, three, four spaces. When we count the lines and spaces, you need to start at the bottom. Line one, line two, line three, line four, line five. When you count the spaces, you also start at the bottom. Space one, space two, space three, space four, okay? Um, now, I know last week we worked a little bit on memorizing where B, E, and G were on the staff. Today, I'm going to show you a trick for reading any notes on the staff when you're reading in treble clef, okay? Here we go. Okay, so take a look here. There's two tricks I'm going to show you. The first one is uh, for reading space notes. 
Space notes spell face, F-A-C-E, okay? So if you look at uh, the space notes on the treble clef, you're gonna see the bottom space is F, the second space is A, the third space is C, and the top space is E, okay? So let's say, for example, you saw this note for the first time. This is the note we learned today. And you didn't know what that meant. You would count from the bottom and spell the word face, F-A-C-E. Okay, so that's how you know that's a C. Now, there's also a trick for the line notes. To read the, nine, the line notes, you wanna memorize this phrase, every good boy does fine. Okay, so the line notes are, line one is E, every, line two is G, good, line three is B, boy, line four is D, does, line five is F, fine. So let's say that you saw this note and you didn't know what it was. You would think every good boy does fine. So you know that that note is a B, okay? So I'm gonna have all of you try and figure out what some of these notes are on your own. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna look at the line notes, okay? So everyone look at the note that is above the red heart and I want you to do the trick, okay? Every blank, 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 fine. Okay, so the answer that you should have gotten was G, every good. We all know that good begins with G. So that's a G, okay? Let's look at the note that's above the monkey. Okay, so do the trick. Every blank, 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 blank. Think about it. Every does. What does does begin with? It begins with D, so we know that is a D. Okay, let's do the, the same thing for the smiley face. What note is this? Okay, so your answer should have been E. Every good boy does fine. Let's look at the green space alien who's kind of sad. Every good boy, B. And finally, let's look at the blue star. Every blank, 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 what is it? F, F for fine. Okay, now we're gonna look down at the space notes. Okay, so remember, uh, the space notes spell this, your face, okay? So let's take a look at the star. Let's say that you saw this note and didn't know what it was. You would spell the word face, F, A, C, E. So what is it? It's a C. Can everyone do the same thing for the sad face? That is A. If you guessed A, you're right. Look at the cat. What note is above the cat? That is F. And then look above the purple heart and spell face. Okay, and that is E. Okay. So now we're gonna look at our song for today. And this song, um, it's called Shark Attack, okay? So it's on page six of your music packet if you have that. Otherwise, just look up at the screen. And this song only has two notes in it, okay? So I want you guys to use the tools you just learned to figure out what the two notes are. Okay, so this is a line note. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. And then this is a space note, spell face. So what are those two notes? So if you said B and C, you are correct, okay? Now there's also a lot of these squiggly things in here. So let's take a look at what those are and review that, okay? So last week we learned that those are quarter rests. A quarter rest equals one beat of silence. Last week, we also talked about what a composer does. A composer is a person who writes music. And uh, we discussed how when there's silence in music, 
the composer usually put it in there to make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, like, oh, it's quiet, what's gonna happen? And so the co a composer often uses silence to create suspense, okay? So that is what is happening in this song. Um, some of you might recognize this, this is pretty famous. And when we're at the beats of silence, I want you guys to think about what is supposed to be happening. Here we go. So what do you think? Okay, so this time I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna talk through it a little bit. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, I think I heard something coming. Uh oh, it's gonna get faster. What's going on? Okay, so this is from a movie about a shark. And every time the shark comes, you hear. And the music kind of goes with what the shark is doing. You know, like if the shark is swimming slowly, it's the quarter notes. If the sh when the shark gets closer to you and faster, it's the the eighth notes and then we have silence for when the shark goes under the water and then at the end it's when the shark jumps out okay so we're gonna learn this together here we go i'm gonna sing the notes and i will say rest rest when um when it's the rests okay here we go one two ready go b c B, C, rest, rest. B, C, 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 B, C. One, two, three, four. B. Let's try it again. Now, most kids think that the hardest part of the song is counting the Okay, so this is one way you can think of it. You can think one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and so you don't get lost in all those eighth notes. Okay, let's try this again. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. B, C, rest, rest. B, C, rest, rest. B, C, B, C, B, C, B, C. B C B C B C B C B C B C B C B C B C one two three four B. We'll do it one more time. Here we go. One two ready go. B C rest rest B C rest rest B C B C B C B C B C B C B C B C B C B C B C B C one two four B. Okay, so you can practice that on your own. And the last thing we're going to do is we have an exit ticket today. Okay, so there's two questions about things that we learned today, and there's also a question just to prove you were here. So the secret word is giraffe. The secret word is giraffe, got it? Giraffe. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna talk you through finding that exit ticket. And um, let's see if I, can, if I can pull this up here. Oh, and you know what, I, I actually don't, don't have an exit ticket for a particular class. So what you're gonna wanna do is you just go to your classroom 
it you can find it on the main homepage if you just scroll down. I posted it this morning. Okay, the shortcut is always go to um, go to classwork and then go to topics. And depending on whose class you're in, you'll find music or you'll find Ms. Jordan music. Okay, so you go to the topic and click on that and it will always be the first thing on the top okay you do if you're doing this as an asynchronous lesson you do need to do the exit ticket to get credit for it okay um otherwise i, I don't know that you did it if you were in live music class this week you did your exit ticket so don't worry about it so i hope you guys have fun playing that song and i will see you guys next week bye